Glory be to God. Welcome to D Weaver Art here on YouTube. I give glory and praise to God that you choose to watch this channel. Today I'd like to share with you part eight in a drawing series I titled Drawing Basics and Drawing the Human Figure with Charcoal for Beginners. Now if you're new to this channel and you haven't subscribed, I urge you to do so. By doing so, you'll be able to receive instant alerts on new content and the material. Now, with that being said, please enjoy part eight in this drawing series. There's a model that I'm going to use. He's posing on starter blocks for a sprinting event. So what I'm going to do, just real loosely, come in here with the head. Just some loose uh, loose uh, random marks. We got the arm, the head, the head coming in like that, the other leg, we can't see, but I think we're going to have the knee, the other knee about right there, you're not going to see it going, going back that way, to about right here, the other, other foot is positioned down right there. Then we have the shoulder coming about right here. Arms down about right here. Elbow, hands further down. It's the hands. So we got the skeletal pose right there. And we're gonna fill this in. Shirt back, right back, kind of slightly arched. Thank you. 
putting in the um, shadow lines right now. Areas where it's going to be in shadow will be absent of light in these areas. This will give it the three-dimensional quality that we're looking for. I'm going to block in the shadow area. It's going to be dark because it's in shadow. Absence of light creates shadow. So, yeah. and then just lightly. muscles in the arm. Yeah. All right, then I'm gonna take my blending stump and push this dark shadow uh, area, which is the um, area where there's no light. The attire is black that he's wearing. The, leggings that he has on and then we're gonna blend the rest of that up into the lighter area remember when there's a um, rounded off form then the shading or the light is gonna there's gonna be a great gradation now where there's a plane there's going to be an abrupt shift in the value where it's almost like a line of demarcation. But here, the leg is rounded, so therefore the form is going to have a gradation from shadow to the light, light the highlighted area or the lighter side. And then underneath the shirt, it's going to be, this area is going to be in shadow, absent of light, and then it tapers, lightens in value. Where the back, actually the back part is going to be left alone.
And then we'll clean it up and that should be it for this. Take the kneaded eraser and just go along the edge here and erase that. Or you can just use the uh, chamois cloth. There you have it. Uh, okay, here the next model is a street dancer. He is, um, in a pose where he is uh, moving. There's movement in his pose, but we're not gonna blur the leg or arm up, but he's in a um, very unique stat uh, position. So what I'm gonna do, as always, we wanna start with the head. Just real loose, loose gesture. The gesture, uh, just get the gesture down and uh, the flow of the body. So we got the hip area, legs coming down, knee, bam, out this way, uh, foot is going that way. And uh, we got this leg, uh, it's coming at knee point and then going down into the foot area right here. So he is um, shoulders kind of, uh, actually foreshortened shoulders. So it's, kind of like off down here. Then um, we got the torso region. So um, just gonna draw a complete block, block of the uh, torso. Um, the leg is going like this and then down into the, the foot. Foot is in a unique angle. He is wearing breeches, pants, so his pants are like this and then up like that. So this is the leg area, kind of baggy like. Then they come down at the knee, round it off because of the, the cylinder aspect of the, of the leg. And then it's rounded where the knee at come in it's like he's got something in his pockets there so it's kind of like that so we got that then the shirt area then coming up like that and this really what i'm doing is real quick and loose and i'm just wanting to get the it's kind of round where his belly at there and then it kind of comes out the shirt right there you don't see his arm come out to about right here. His arm come out. So we got the wrist area there. And I think his hand is kind of like this. Then his uh, shoulder about right in here where the shoulder area. So the arm is gonna come down this way. The elbow is here. Then it kind of comes out that way. And that shoulder is kind of going round it down. So we got round it down. We got the shirt area of his shirt. So we got that motion there of the chest and then it, the area of the body. Leg coming down, shirt over this way, and yeah. Then we got where the sh and then the arm. This boom. arm bent 
So we got the bicep, armpit, shoulder muscle, and then we got his head going up like this. It's going to be rounded. Oh, he's got a hat on. So the neck is kind of protruding out. And the head's like this. So pants got a unique stripe down design. Being all. Actually, we're going to. I think we're going to cut that off a little bit there, make that shorter. So the leg comes down and foot. All right. It's kind of baggy, like. And his pants are black, so you're not going to see much of the wrinkles in it based on from what I'm looking at from the model as he's uh, in a very unique position here. Got some in his pocket. So the pants are going to be black. So that's your pose. So this part is in shadow here. It's a white shirt, but it's slightly in shadow. Hitting off from. So we need to erase some, lift that off. There with, I'm use the sham, chamois cloth. And just kind of get that off there. And it's quite a muscle uh, definition on the, the model there. Shirt. And then you got the slightly coming in. It's like coming in there. Alright, and then we're gonna take the and just block that in there. Like that. It's a white shirt, but all this in here is pretty dark. So I'm gonna have to Come back in that later. The shirt is actually white. But for the sake of drawing, using these charcoal, you can come back and use a chalk and brighten that up, or you can come back and use the battery powered um, eraser and highlight that up too. Now, I'm kind of bouncing around here on this, but this arm is going to have some shadow zones in it. So we got is where it's kind of rounded off. He's a dark complected skin tone, so he's going to be shadowed in here. The arm here is in shadow, and that elbow is going to be a little bit darker area. And then up, kind of up like that. Then this arm, bottoms in shadow. Light source seems like it's just coming straight down. Um, you got the leg is all. Mm, cross hatch. Uh, lines were going in one direction, then I come back over with another direction. I'm using vine charcoal. All these drawings that I've been doing in this uh, series, I've been working with vine charcoal because I want to recycle the paper. Because if you put down um, the compressed charcoal, which is going to be your pencils and blocks of charcoal squared off or cuboid charcoal is going to be uh, actually uh, hard to erase if you make a mistake. 
I'm not saying, I, I, well, I will make a mistake. We all are known to make mistakes. We're human beings. But, but a for, the sole purpose of this video, I just wanted to get that down as far as the, the um, be able to reuse the paper. And you work much quicker with this vine charcoal than you could really with the charcoal pencils. But then you can come back with the charcoal pencils and redefine and go even darker with your uh, charcoal. So that's his pants, all dark. Side of his arm. Remember that kind of rounded off the shadow up in here, round it all. Arm is gonna be dark, complected skin tone. So the arm is kind of like that. And then a hand, and then under here on this back side, same, same uh, tone, light underneath here, cause that's the bottom of the hand. All right, sh shoulder. I'll finish doing that on the shoulder. All right, then I'm gonna take this, reinforce that area, put that line in there like that, and this is gonna be just a black area, real dark. With the arm, there's no shadow, it's in shadow and there's absence of light in there. Now this is not gonna, this is really exaggerated, so I'm gonna kind of lose that, lose that too. Hat's gonna come, it's being worn backwards, so I'm gonna do a real quick mark like that. Know that bill of the hat ain't gonna be that long, but I just did that so you can kinda see, just to get the, the flow. And then the hat's gonna kinda come up a little bit up here like this, and just round it off. Okay, then we're gonna take the uh, chamois cloth and just erase all that we don't need, which was reference lines and markings. We don't need all that no more. I'm gonna take the shirt. He's wearing a uh, tank top. So it's going to curve down like that. And due to the fact this is actually, it's a white shirt, so that is going to kind of come in like that. So really, this is going to be, oh, I'm going to use this here. This is going to... Oh, this is going to be white. So you can draw with the charcoal. I mean, you can draw with the eraser. I'm just All I'm doing is lifting that charcoal back off that, that was filled in. Just giving an indication that it's a white shirt that he's wearing. Brighten that up, just like that. And actually, I can come in like this. So that's one way to get a highlight too. Plus you can use your, uh, he's got white shoes by the way. I'm gonna go and knock, put them in there real quick. I'm 
I'm gonna lose the... That shoe right there. Look like he got his socks on right now. But I can always come back and put that in right. So I've been using the the um, eraser to draw. And all I'm doing is lifting off the charcoal that's in the paper. And you got the bridge of the nose. in the forehead. Take the blending stump and shade in the rest of that area, block that all in. Right. So there we have it. Okay, I'm going to um, put them, the details of the shoes in now. So I'm going to put a little line for the sole of the shoes. Because this is kind of like high, and then come over like this. It's going to stop. Actually, just messed up. So what I'm gonna do? Just come back in there and put that back in that white part. I went too far over. In that. All right. Then put the line back in there. This is just the pattern of the shoe. And of course, the shoelaces are white. But just give a little bit of in perspective of shoelaces. I'm just slightly putting some putting uh, some shoelace uh, like shadow, a hint or an impression of shoelace. Now this part of the shoe on this right foot is gonna be in, sh in gray. So that's a little design there. And it's on the back, in inside the shoe part, it doesn't connect like it does on the outside. So and then once again, just faint impression of shoelaces and then it kind of goes like this it's like a deal inside and in the base of the shoe foot is in to kind of redefine that and then we'll come down the same on this side. so then i take the blending stump and just blend that side of the shoe in. Then come back with the eraser because I went too far in and just correct it and just put that sole where it's white back in there. And there you have it. Thank you for watching the video. I hope you got something good out of it. Let me know what you think by leaving a comment. Also, don't forget to hit the like button. You can follow me on Instagram and Facebook at the letter D Weaver Art. Thank you so much. God bless you. See you next time.